When you think about the resurrection, I just think about this bliss and joy that we can't even imagine that flows to us from the risen Christ. And I think we probably all know people that have essentially stopped living. It's like they're still physically alive, but you just feel like they're going through the motions. Um, you know, they're just not engaged in life. They're afraid of anything new. They've become old and sad before their time. And with folks like that, I just want to like go up to them and just say, do you know that Jesus rose from the dead for you? Um, I just want to share the joy of the risen Lord with them. So it's so easy to let life rob us of that joy and to become worried and sad and fearful or let anger or resentment consume us. And I don't want to spend one moment of this precious life in any of those futile experiences. Because before you know it, we're going to be standing before the judgment seat of Christ, you know, this brief, brief life that we've been given. So I just want to lead with joy, and I just want to live in joy and know the power of forgiveness and mercy and peace. And we live in such a culture of rage and anger and entitlement and resentment, and none of that has anything to do with the kingdom of God. So I just pray that um, this day you know the joy that flows from the heart of the risen Christ and that somebody in your life that's old, not old physically, but old in the sense of perhaps having given up, um, that in some way you can speak that joy to them and, and refresh their hearts.